Hello Libras! Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, I'm Jade, and this is Star Moon and Sun Tarot. I'm going to clear the resonance for you real quick. There we go. Alright, so Libra, whether you have Libra as your Sun sign, Moon sign, Rising, or Ascendant, Venus, Cross Watchers are welcome as always. This can be your love reading. Okay, for the rest of February, going into March. Any of these decks, if you guys are interested in them, they are all listed in the description box below. And if you are interested in personal readings, there is uh, information on that in the description box below as well. Pre-recorded, delivered to your email. Very, very simple. Okay, so Angel Spirits Guides for Libra. What do we need to know or see for Libra? Okay, Loyal Heart. Funny, Aquarius just got that. What else for Libra? That one. Let's see. Oh, to be fair. Oh, look at the scales. <laughs> Libra, loyal heart, to be fair, what's on the bottom? Chop wood. Okay. So, <clears throat> you have some type of loyal heart here to something or someone. But something's coming up here about fairness. This reduces down to an 11. And that's a 35 and 8. So, there's something here about um, loyalty and fairness. And chop wood, chop wood is about um, staying busy, um, focusing on each individual step of um, a process, um, you know, rather than looking at the whole big, big, big goal, one little thing at a time, and very um, intentionally. So, there might be something you have a loyal heart to, but you know something needs to be balanced out, worked out, um, made more fair, and you've got to go through some type of process, possibly. Let's see. We're going to do a basic Celtic cross spread. This is the Light Sears Tarot. Angel Spirits Guides. For the highest good, oh wait, please, for Leo. <clears throat> Leo. Why did I say Leo? Libra. I mean, they are both, you know, L astrological signs. Do some of you like a Leo? Leo Libra could be a good pair, huh? All right. Libra. Let's see. Libra, where are they at right now? In love. Show me what I need to see. Oh, Libra. Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords, Libra. Hmm. Are you, you know, this can also be self-preservation, looking out for you. Show me what's crossing, Libra. We're gonna, oh, wow. You see that fly around. They're like, no, not reversed. Not reversed. Libra knows what's up. Something's, something's happening here. Hold on. What's above Libra? Show me their higher self. Okay. Weird. Ten of Wands. Okay. So, you might be moving. Um, traveling, putting your burdens down, ending something, ending some type of cycle. Show me their lower selves for Libra. Okay, wow. Wow, the wheel, yeah. Someone is spinning the wheel here. Whew. You guys, looks like you're spinning the wheel here. <laughs> Show me what's in... Okay, Libra's recent past. Eh. The devil. The devil, toxicity, codependence, any type of negativity like that. Capricorn energy, but uh, does not have to be. Show me what's in Libra's uh, immediate future here. 
going to happen for Libra in the immediate future. Nine of Swords. You're going to be in your head about this. Maybe being a little dramatic, um, but that's okay. Do what you got to do. We're going to clarify these as well. Um, okay. Wow, I was just about to ask for your psychological state, but I was still kind of like talking about, we'll, we'll find out about this. Hmm. Are you like waiting for a specific offer? Refusing all offers? Show me the psychological state for Libra. Okay. King of Cups. All right, you might be waiting for a specific offer here. Um, but I'm, I'm seeing you're, you're getting more peaceful, serene, grounded. Some of the unseen forces or factors in the environment. Okay. So you got a page of pentacles here. Some type of offer, something could be changing, shifting, moving. I mean, well, obviously we have the wheel here and then this um, is showing a change, a shift. I feel like she's gonna pivot on that little thing. She's on there on that mandala. Oh, it's a little root. Oh, it's wrapped around her sneaker, look at that. I still feel like she's going to pivot, though. Ooh, break the root. Okay, hold on. Let me see hopes and fears for Libra. Okay, hopes and fears. Eight of Wands coming up sideways, so there might be someone you're not communicating with that you're hoping to. Show me outcome for Libra. Outcome. Judgment judgment. All right, we're going to clarify these. Let's see what's on the bottom. Wow, two cups on the bottom. I mean, obviously this is a love reading. Okay. guides, guardians, ancestors, and what I need to see for Libra is for the highest good. I'm trying to shuffle them more quietly. <laughs> All right. Move this high priestess. <clears throat> Show me the Seven of Swords for Libra. The Fool. Yeah, you're trying to get your shit and go. Sorry. Um, take a leap of faith. Show me this high priestess. Why is this high priestess crossing Libra? Okay. Wow, the Wheel of Fortune reversed. Something here you know is not right, is not correct. See, the wheel is reversed, and then, like, your lower self here. Well, let's say the Ten of Wands for a higher self. Show me more about this Ten of Wands. Okay. Yeah, the Emperor. You're taking your power back. Aries energy here. And ending this cycle with the Ten of Wands. Show me this wheel for Libra's lower self here. Five of Wands. I apologize about that. I had to pause the camera for a second. Um, my dogs came bounding down here and like bonked into the tripod, or I thought they were going to, and I just realized... Uh, they just got to do their own thing for a bit. Okay, so let me see here. So, five of wands. There was um, conflict or competition going on. Mm -hmm. And with the magician coming out with that, this is um, manipulation. And ten of swords. Pain, backstabbing, betrayal. Wow. That makes sense. Wow, Libra. I'm so sorry that this is happening. But good for you for moving forward and seeing the toxicity for what it is. Show me this devil in the recent past. Whoa, okay. Death. Scorpio energy. 
So it is something that has ended. Seven of Wands. You're defending yourself from that type of energy. Good for you. Show me the, um, what was this? Yeah, the Nine of Swords, Four of Cups for the future uh, outcome here. Nine of Swords, Four of Cups. What's that about? Show me more. King of Pentacles. All right, this is Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. You might be waiting for a Taurus Virgo Capricorn, or you could just be focused on yourself, your own abundance and stability. Um, King of Pentacles energy is also the energy of somebody who is um, mature, responsible, ready to step up, financially secure, emotionally, you know, um, very much could be a father figure. Yeah, Nine of Swords. Again, this came out a lot for Aquarius, too, and, and I'm, both of these Nine of Swords coming out together, there's some type of messages in your dreams or something. This is really strange. Start keeping a dream journal air signs, because something's happening here for you guys this, uh, this year. All right. I just can't stop staring up at this. There's something here. There's um, spiritual guidance or some type of connection or something here. And see how with the judgment, her spirit's going up. This feels very as above, so below. As it is in the 5D, it shall be in the 3D. You might not be there yet, but you're getting there. Libra. All right. Show me more about this King of Cups for Libras, where they're at mentally here. He looks very serene and the Hanged Man. Yeah. Ooh, and the Ace of Wands on the bottom. I see this. You're being very, very patient. Very patient, calm energy. Just waiting, getting yourself right, an ace of wands so that you can be ready for whatever is going to be coming in here. Wow. So, show me about this page of, okay, <laughs> seven of cups. So, Somebody, so this is uh, things in your energy that can be uh, affecting the outcome or your situation here. So, there's uh, somebody looking at options, looking for a solid option, or because things change and shifted and your old ties were severed here. You know, looking at um, options, there's a good an offer here, but then we also have two of swords. So something has happened here, where yes, yeah, something ended here, whatever, and now um, you might be having a hard time seeing where to go from here, or someone in your energy. Maybe you're at a stalemate with them. This could be who you ended it with that are looking at their options and things are changing here. Um, but I, I don't see it affecting you. You look like you're very um, chill king of cups here. See that? Real serene, heart-centered, meditating, comfortable in his emotions with all the water here. And we see the hanged man. The hanged man is gaining enlightenment. Totally fine. Hang there all day. All right, show me about this Eight of Wands and your hopes and fears. Okay. There might be someone specific you're hoping to talk to. Yeah, Page of Pentacles. There might be someone you want to make an offer to. And you're hoping to find somebody through communication that you can work on this with. Eight of Pentacles. Four of Cups. You're waiting for someone who checks all your boxes. You're waiting for that perfect offer here. And show me judgment for the outcome. Okay. Mm. Eight of Cups reversed. 
And the way I'm seeing this is her, she's like leaving all that crap behind her. She's got her cup and she's willing to go into the depths and look at herself and, and you know, walk away to, to make a more solid offer. Judgment might be surrender, just surrendering. Yeah, three of wands reversed. You might not quite be ready to take these first steps towards a new direction and passion yet. Six of swords, because you're still moving into calmer water. And with the moon coming out here as well, um, there are some things that have not come to light yet. There are some things that have not been seen yet. Um, you're going you're gonna to realize things things are going to become illuminated for you here um, it's gonna take some time and if this is somebody specific that you're wanting to communicate with you see something else for what it was and now you're um, maybe more clear about who a connection might work with it's gonna take some time and there's still things um, uh, crystallizing or coming into fruition, things are still forming. There might be masks that need to be removed. There might be um, reflection. You might need some inner reflection. Or somebody. Okay. So, oh, let's see what's at the bottom. Yeah, five of swords. You don't want any of this type of conflict. Um, you might, oh. Wow. See, typically, that's the first thing I would say. You know, you don't want any conflict. I'm seeing this as, like, divine guidance. That's so funny that the judgment... This almost, like, to me, is, like, angelic. Some type of angelic here and with the, the two black swans or geese or something... This is some type of angelic guidance and clearance. Oh, this is on the bottom of the mystical wisdom oracle. Angel miracles. Open your heart and expect a miracle. I love that. But let me get them shuffled up. This is what I'm going to use for... Okay. Hold on. These two wanted to come, like, right in my face. So, let's see. Enlightenment. Pursue spiritual growth. And face your fears. Release the power of fear here. Aquarius got both of those as well. Owl on the bottom with follow your intuition. Anything else? Any other advice for Libras, please? For the highest good in this situation. Definitely pursue spiritual growth. Face your fears. Release the power of fears. Yeah, Battle of the Blues. You're taking these steps toward positive change here, Libra. And facing your fears and moving towards enlightenment. This is really, really good. This is why, you know, this balance here is coming out with a to be fair. Chop Wood is talking about all of these little things. And then at the bottom, Opportunity Knocks. When you're ready, it's going to come in. And not a moment before, Libra. All right, so thank you so much for watching. Um, thank you so much for liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing, and to all my new subscribers, thank you so, so much. I see you guys, and it means the absolute world to me, so thank you so much. I hope to see you guys back next time. Much love to you all. Bye.